do things in the space-time <laughs> continuum. Uh, and then somebody told me, that I'd actually forgotten this, we were uh, a day off two years ago, and we were on the money last year as well. So I'm on some kind of a roll. You are. Some of it is skill, look at weather patterns, and a little bit of it is uh, educated guess, as it were. Luck. Sometimes yes, it's better that, to be lucky than to be that's good. That's what I say in golf. Much better <laughs> to be lucky. All right, let's talk about the three-degree guarantee. We were not correct yesterday. Got back on the horse today. But there's a charity there, that yeah, gets but, something. But, yeah, but today Did you nailed we it. nailed it. Yeah, I know. 57, it's the yeah, nailed it yeah, dance. Yeah. Over I had 58, and I lowered it to 57 last night, 11. And I thought when I came in, I was going to talk myself out of a bullseye, but no, uh, we got a bullseye. We're going to go 39 uh, for a high tomorrow. Right now, it's 38. That's a low so far today. Look at the 2.9 degrees. It's going to take a while for the snow to saturate the atmosphere and actually reach the ground. It'll probably be snowing aloft for a while tomorrow. All right, so here's where the snow is. It's snowing just around St. Louis back into Kansas City. And it's not a clipper because it did, did not originate in Canada, but it has a lot of clipper-like characteristics. It's a fast mover. It doesn't have a lot of moisture. It has pretty good upper air support, and that's what clippers do. And this is going to move essentially due uh, east right across the mountains. And our big storms just don't come that way. So. Light snow moves in a little bit earlier. Critical hours now, noon Thursday to 3 a.m. Friday. There'll be two bursts of snow, one around lunchtime, and the bulk of the snow still falls at the same time we talked about earlier, 10 p.m. to about 3 a.m. Some slick spots are possible, though, now Thursday evening for the commute. That's the biggest change. Slick spots possible Friday morning, but i got to believe the roads are going to be okay by the time you hit the road. General trace to two inches of snow. That's, that really hasn't changed at all either. So I couldn't bring out the bread meter It would be an insult. And I'm kind of bored, so I brought out the impact meter. No bredometer, meter, but impact meter. So this just simply means in terms of the snow, it doesn't take much to cause problems on the road. We'll give it like a 1.8, a 2 in the impact meter because it's going to affect a couple of rush hours. All right, snowfall potential. This is one model. This is ending at 9 a.m. on Friday. It looks very similar to our snowfall map, actually. About an inch downtown, inch in Gaithersburg, and the bullseye, such as it is, woohoo! An inch and a half in Hagerstown, Martinsburg, Winchester, and Leesburg. And I did bring the two inch band a little bit lower uh, to include places like Clarksburg and portions of uh, western and northwestern in Loudoun County. All right, another map for snowfall potential. We'll take you all the way into Friday morning again at 9 a.m. This looks pretty similar. At least you see some confluence here with the bullseye being north and west of town. And I think that will uh, come to pass, but it's not going to be a, a, a big storm by any means. So here's the future cast. We'll show you the snow coming in by lunchtime. One little batch and it kind of leaves by 6 p.m. So the commute won't be horrible tomorrow night. And then more snow develops uh, tomorrow evening right around this time should be snowing. I'll be on the weather terrace if it is. All right, low 30s to start. Clouds roll in 35 by 11 o'clock and some light snow possible by one about to 37. So yellow weather alert right on through Saturday. Morning light snow on Friday, but that shuts off very early, 36. Snow still possible Saturday, mainly south and east of town, only 29 for high. When we say south and east of town, I mean Charles County, St. Mary's County, you have a better chance on Saturday than you do uh, tomorrow. Stays cold on Sunday and Monday, and then back in the 40s and showers return Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, Kristen's got her eyes on the ballers tonight. Yeah, it's been, uh, you know, college basketball is in, co in conference play, so you really never know what's going to happen. And tonight was quite the thriller in college basketball, complete with a couple major upsets. We've got those for you. Plus, the Capitals stand in the way of another team's quest to make history. Sports is next. 2017 inauguration, unlike any other. Go to the WUSA 9 Facebook page and let us know how you're feeling. Our job is to provide everything that people want to know across every platform. Your city, your voice. Only on WUSA 9. At Next Day Blinds, whether you shop in store or in home, custom couldn't be more convenient, more exact more beautiful or more you next day blinds exactly right completely you Toyota has you covered no matter what the weather brings choose from a great selection of vehicles available with four-wheel or all-wheel drive to get you to your destination with confidence including RAV4 Perfect for your everyday adventures. Forerunner, Toyota's most rugged off-road ready SUV. And Highlander, with the perfect blend of comfort and style. See your Toyota dealer today. Your all-wheel drive specialist. Toyota.